new at 10. Strict new regulations for breeders are about to take effect, and that has many breeders handing their dogs over to rescue groups. More than 20 dogs were recently handed over to the Animal Rescue Foundation. Two News reporter Casey Robach joins us live from South Tulsa, where some of those dogs are now receiving veterinary care tonight. Casey? Well, Russ, about a half a dozen of those dogs remain at this clinic because they're still in pretty bad shape. Our volunteers believe they will see a lot more of these dogs before the new law takes effect on January 1st. He's past the pain stage. Dr. Kimberly Huckabee at the Bend Arrow Veterinary Hospital is working to nurse this latest group of new arrivals back to health. Their physical challenges are obvious, things like the mange, eye problems, and dental issues. But Huckabee says they face other challenges as well. It's emotional, like because they've lived their whole life in a cage. And, and you'll notice that some of them, when you go to touch them, they jump. They're not used to being loved on. They're not used to being held and cuddled. This last week, we've received 25 dogs. J.D. Osmet with the Animal Rescue Foundation expects to see even more dogs in the coming weeks. She says many commercial breeders don't believe they will be able to comply with the regulations that have been proposed as part of the Commercial Breeders Act. Things like passing inspections, having larger cages, hiring one full-time employee per every 25 dogs, and forcing breeders to be bonded. So we're going to have an influx of dogs for a little bit, but hopefully it'll slow down, and eventually we won't have the dogs that are in this shape ever again. ARF is just relieved that breeders are handing them over instead of disposing of them. They can remain anonymous, and that way we're hoping that we get the dogs in to take care of rather than something bad happening to the dogs. And these rules are not set in stone. A public hearing is scheduled for tomorrow in Oklahoma City at 4 o'clock. The committee will likely vote on those rules tomorrow night. Live in South Tulsa, Casey Roebuck, 2 News, works for you.